All right, I won't reset it. Screw it. We're gonna play. It began with a celebration. Indebted for years to the Marquis de la Montbon. De la Montbon. The family's prosperity was soon to be restored. The fleet was due to arrive the morrow, carrying both their hopes and the salvation. But the celebration was befouled by an unwelcomed guest. The Marquis himself arrived bearing ill tidings. The fleet had been lost. The debt had come due. The family's property was seized. And they're pressing into bondage? But one of them would not be a slave. That boy was you. So it was to the brave young Scion escaped the family's fate, swearing to save them and one day avenge the Marquis's foul deed. Ten years later, when I'm not a child anymore and I'm an adult, now grown to his full measure, the young adventurer began his quest to find his family and restore their fortune. So I step into a pub the very first thing you have to do. Seeking passage to the new world, you see. If ye be looking for a passage to the Americans, ye can sign up here. So, uh, right off the bat, I'm gonna just do... Alright. There we go. Pirates! Backwards. Soterip. Ye need to sign part of a crew. The captains be under at the tabers are gladly take ye aboard. So you can go and see sign with the French, sign with the Spanish, with the Dutch of this English. I like with the English. It's what I've always picked. I always like it. The crossing was fought with terror and cruelty. The captain drove the ship and her crew to breaking. Huh? What are you doing, young lad? Don't touch my medallion! Oh, it's got peace left. I deal with that. Pushed beyond the distance in a crew mutinies. Everybody fighting everyone until a cannon was shot. And somehow I got up to the tip top. He's about ready to light the cannon off again. And shoot the sail when... I ho Silva away! I kick that fool in the teeth. And hold him hostage in his own ship. Tell him to sail on out, scallywag. Free and under full sail, the ship and its crew at your command. And this is how Citerap, you make your way to the Caribbean. You can see you're going towards the Americas, you signed on with the, the English to do so, and this is what happened. You then break free, create your own ship, and try to rescue your family is the whole premise of the game. Revenge to be served. You can just see, and your destiny awaits you. You can play the game however you want. It's just like Skyrim. You can go and you can save your family, or you can be the biggest, baddest mother pirate on the seas, and that's what I choose to do. So anytime you go into a town, this is what you'll see. You can talk to the governor and visit the tavern, so you can see English Stronghold. It's busting with activity. Port Royal is the haven for English merchants, smuggling to and from the Spanish main. Do you? So the first thing I always do is uh, I'll trade with the merchant. Kind of see, make sure I have supplies. So you can see, this is what the merchant has. So right now I have no goods. Goods allows you to survive. You need to have goods on your boat. So you 
then you can have your crew and yourself sustain for X amount of time. Uh, and then you can always grab sugar, spice, and I have maximum guns on the, the boat right now, which is eight guns. Sugar, spice, and then luxuries are how you trade. So if I bought here and it's at 15 gold on luxuries uh, and gold and or spice and sugar, and then I go somewhere else and it's 15 gold and everything else is higher, well, it's a quick way to make some money. So... I'll continue on. The other thing that I do is go and visit the tavern. Your tavern is your, probably your best friend. So into here, you can go and talk with this guy. And it's like, the best place to sell your goods you're hauling is a small but prosperous city like Tortuga. They're paying $13 or gold per ton, which is nice. So he'll give you like little tips and things. You can talk to the chick. The chick then is like, oh, hey, by the way, the most notorious pirate, blah, 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 blah. You see, she gives you the inside scoop on pirates. So you can see this is where you are, this is where kind of that pirate is. So you can go and fight the pirate if you want. The guy in the back is like, ooh, I offered you to sell part of the secret map showing the location of the pirate steed buried here, but you gotta spend 200. Now, you can always take it so you can go and see. It's like, okay, so the dead tree, dead tree, arch rock. All right, so over here we have uh, Steed Bonnet's treasure. So if you know whatever inlet this is, you can actually get out of the boat and start walking. So if I ever find the Ithaca Temple in a stone head, then I know to get off there. So something to keep in mind. So he gives them, then I get the map as well. Then you have here, which you can see the jobs are scared in the Port Royal, and an experienced band of 26 men offers to join your current crew of 40. It's like, well, welcome aboard. That way, if you have a max crew, you have the strongest fighting capability, you can have people man the guns, etc., etc. The other thing that I will do is talk to the governor very last, and the governor gives you kind of like your missions and stuff. So, oh, Mr. Deoceterra, please come in. You may be interested to know that we are at war with the evil Spanish and the slimy French and the greedy Dutch. I am pleased to offer you a letter from Mark Q, which authorizes you to plunder and sink the ships of our enemies. At this map, we'll show you the nearest enemy city in the Spanish city of Santiago, which lies a short distance northeast. So you can see, do, 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 right up there. It wants you to go and attack it, pretty much. In fact, a juicy Spanish Baruch has been seen this morning heading in that direction. A Baruch is uh, just a trade ship. So if you capture trade ships, you get some money. So you just go down to the towns and it'll give you some uh, helpful information. So you can see the status of OEF. So you started your career, blah, blah, blah. Your crew of 66 is content. You see the gold fleet, etc. You can see your personal stats. You have your fleet stats. So you can have one boot, which is just called the sloop. And, uh, I guess it's just called revenge at the moment. You can always, of course, rename it. And I can just put it as like a uh, 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 cool boat name. The sea slug. That's right, and it's a sloop, so each boat has its own different kind of things. There you go, and you see the treasure map, so this is the one that I currently have. Scroll over if you had a whole bunch of them. You have the world map, which you zoom out. You can just see that as of right now, that's as far as I can zoom out, but you can go right. There's a whole bunch of places to go. And, I mean, up to the Keys, St. Augustine, all down in here. And all of it does take time to get there. I have the top 10 pirates. Right now, I am number 10. So I am behind currently everybody else all up in here. And uh, you can see they've ransacked some towns and they've captured a bunch of ships. How much money? Etc. 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 I do have the uh, PDF, which kind of tells you again everything. So every little bit has its own little thing, all the way up to Z. A lot of info you can get, and then system is just to change your stuff. But the main purpose of the game is to sail away. So we recommend using the keypad to sail your ship, unless you're playing on a laptop computer. Refer to the keypad. So you can see that I can just turn right. So boom, but you want to follow the wind. So you can see the wind is blowing this way at uh, 15 knots. So anytime I go to the left, I'm gonna go super fast, as well as my boat, because my boat is intended to go really fast. So I can see New Hope is an English settlement. My crew, they're just not smiling. I can survive for three months with the goods that I purchased. 
And again, sailing against the wind is not the greatest. However, I am in a sloop, which regardless is still a fast boat going with the wind or against the wind. It doesn't matter. Now, there is a storm here. Got to be careful of the rocks. The rocks will damage your ship. Not a good thing. But, oh, there's a boat. There she blows, boys. There she blows. Ooh. Mm. Come here. Let me fight you. There we go. So it has six guns and 41 men. I will simply attack it. Now, to attack, this is how it works. You can dodge the cannonballs, and then you turn your cannons, and you fire yours. So you want to try to maneuver yourself out and make sure you don't get hit, angle it, and still shoot the cannonballs. But I'm going to turn into them, and I'll show you the other big thing, is if I turn and fire my cannons, shift, you can see like their goods are flying out, their crew is flying out. The other thing I can do is then ram them. Because I collide with a mighty crash and demoralized crew, they quickly surrender, and I take the gold and everything else. So I see, oh, there's nine sailors that want to? Sure, come on aboard. And this is everything that they had. So I'm going to take their food. I'm going to plunder it. I'm going to plunder the luxuries. I'll plunder the spice. I can actually just take it all except for uh, the guns. Because eight is the max gun. So you see, what shall we do with the enemy ship, Captain? So we need 15 of our 67 crew available to keep her sailing. So we can keep her. She's got haul damage. Or you can sink her. But I'm going to keep her to take all. And uh, so now that I have her, what I can do is then loop myself back around. I did just take the ship. I can take the ship too if I want it. All right. I'm going to let them run. <laughs> I'll let it run away. I'm going to bring this ship on back and show you kind of how you get some, some pretty quick cash. So you have Port Royale, which is over here, just around the little bend. Utilizing that wind to uh, swing me on into little faster and then I can just keep basically attacking up there and sinking boats all the time and every time I capture one just bring it with me and then just load all my stuff in there. So you can see I don't want to attack, I want to make sure because these are friendly. And you just kind of ram your ship into the dock and then you go right to the shipwright. The shipwright allows you to repair so the sea slug has some damage so I'm going to repair it. You can see I have chain shot and grape shot and I'll break into that here on the next battle but then I go over to this ship that's like oh well, that's cool. I can upgrade it. I can make it better. And uh, as of right now, I was just showing kind of with it because I want to go to the merchant and sell my goods. So I'll sell all my goods here. I don't need spice, sugar, anything. I don't need it. I don't care. And I only need eight guns because that's all my other ship can hold. So then you go back to the shipwright. You can go to the other ship you can sell it. So I just made extra money, just completely for free. Then you can go and talk to the governor because I did just attack and was successful on it. So it's like, oh, please, come on in. As you know, or blah, 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 war. I understand that you captured a smash broke. Excellent, the king will be pleased. So you will be promoted to captain. Good day. So if you keep doing it and keep attacking what the English want you to, you will eventually get promoted to higher and higher ranks. Again, you can play the game however you want. If you want to go and save your family, or you just want to be the biggest, baddest pirate out there. I'm a big, bad pirate. Oh, Trade Galleon. These are massive, massive ships. I mean, they hold so much. Oh, you can see I'm at 12 knots. So I have to kind of turn. And I think those are going to be a little far off. But every time I shoot, I then turn into the enemy to make sure that I'm less of a target Except for this one, I'm going to turn around. But less of a target for them to hit. Now, because their ship is really, really slow... Oh, I'm going to stall. There we go. I don't have to worry about them, like, outrunning. So they can outrun me. You can see every time I shoot, the guns have to reload. And I'll shoot one more time. You can look, their sails are kind of damaged. Every time I hit, they have less and less guns. The other thing I can do is use Grape Shot, so I switch my stuff or my stuff. You can see Grape Shot does have a short range because Grape Shot is used to kill uh, basically the the sailors on the ship. So you can see I launch out Grape Shot and I hit and people come flying out. The other thing I can do is Chain Shot. Chain Shot allows you to take out the sails and if you drop the sails, they're done. They're donezo. But I don't want to damage the sails. 
So uh, I'm just going to continue to shoot out some cannons, and then eventually I can just come on in and ram the ship. You can see that they're smoking. They're not doing anything. Easy to come and take. So they pretty much just gave me the stuff. But look, you can see she is taking a ton of damage. But uh, I have 133 tons, so I can take it all, and I'll have to keep some of my crew over there. So in news of your blah, 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 your victory, you're a total BA. There may be a promotion waiting for you. Oh, okay. Now I can't attack English. I can attack my own. If I wanted to, if I wanted to be a total pirate, not friends with anybody, then I do have the option to. But uh, I got to keep somebody happy right now so that I can keep doing all my trading and at least get big and get the ship that I want. Whoops, I don't want to attack. There we go. Drive on in. And we'll trade with the merchant. We'll sell off uh, two of the guns, because I don't need them. We can also sell off some of the goods, because I don't need them. In fact, I don't need any, because I have the food, and the food tells me for six months. Uh, goodbye, goods. I don't need any of you. But I can buy as many foods as I want. Now then, if I go to the shipwright, I will... As you can see, I didn't take any damage because I dodged it all. But I will then sell it for 10 gold. I'll lose two tons of cargo, which is just food. I do. So, no big deal. And then uh, visit the tavern as always. Go and meet some scallywags. But uh, I'm currently full. Sorry. Let's see, does she have anything? Maybe interested in some information. The fifth most notorious pirate. He's still on up there. This guy, what does he got? Okay, so I'll upgrade my ship to resist damage. Ooh, this is good. This is important. Which is, this is why you want to go and talk to this guy in the corner. Yeah, he's a little creepy sitting in the corner, but he gives you things like the hourglass, which gives you more vision. So let's see. All right, please come on in. Great, great. As you know, we're at war with the blah, blah, blah. Yep. I understand you recently captured a Spanish trade guy. Yeah, and we captured the rogue to be pleased. In recognition of your service to the crown, I'm pleased to remote you to the ranks of captain. So now, if I go to two English ports, I have an easier time getting more people for my ships. The other thing you can do, and this is completely up to you, you can see the governor's beautiful daughter enters the room. My daughter, Mr. Cetera, you are quite a handsome young, young uh, Rufus. Perhaps when you have achieved the rank of a Byron, you can escort me to the Grand Ball. You can do dances. You can have multiple girlfriends. <laughs> This game promotes polygamy. It's okay in this game. So eventually it just kind of gives you a little incentive like, oh, hey, you want some of that right there and that butterface? Yeah, get promoted. But I don't really care. So congratulations, you have earned your first fame point. So you can see you earned fame points. It gives you these helpful little tips along the way. But I have eight months. I want to go and find uh, that pirate and go and fight him. So this is a French smuggler. I could fight him if I wanted, but he just pieces on out. I want to get up here and keep attacking the the Spanish. These guys have some awesome. Another trade galleon. I want to take a trade galleon, keep it as much HP as I can, and then uh, duke it out. So I'm going to attack. It's got 16 guns, though. But if I can sneak up in its rear and attack it. That sounds really gross. But I'm gonna do this. Uh, Alright, that's one hit there. But that's okay. Because what I'm trying to do is ram it. And I'll show you why I'm trying to... That uh, hurt. I'll show you why I'm trying to ram it here. Boom. When you ram it, it brings you into this mode. This is like a little, a little fight. Whoops. So... You get to kind of fight them, and you can see that I'm at an advantage right now. So I can see I have a bunch of pirates, and there's only a handful of Spaniards. I'm just using Quick Chop, because Chop is the quickest way to fight anybody. There's the block, and there's the other ones as well. But if you win the fight, yeah, come with me then. You see, my pirates are uh, got these blue hats, but we won. And full HP. This is why. So I will take it all, and then I just keep this ship with me and just load it. So I have four to six tons of space left, but I can drop off the guns because I don't need them. I only need eight. So basically I just sink 16 guns, and I keep food and goods, and just continue on. 
Now this ship follows me, and uh, I just keep plundering and keep loading it up with stuff. So this little smuggler over here better run. Oh, there's there's that pirate. There he is. Pirate raiders. I'm gonna come over here and fight this guy. We're bound for a French town. I can attack him. The uh, pirate raiders, that is. So you can see they're a sloop. It's a sloop, but a sloop here. He wants to ram me. I don't want him to. So I'm just gonna shoot him there. Oh, don't turn. There we go, now I only got hit with one cannonball. Turn, guns are loaded. Launch it. Turn again. Oh, I dodged that cannonball. Oh, I launched it, I shot totally wrong. No, turn it. All right, I didn't get hit from that. Let's see if those cannons will reach. Turn into it, there we go, he hit, and he hit the rocks too. Eight guns loaded. Oh yeah, these guys are done. They're trying to ram me and I just won't let them, which is really depressing. But uh, if I take out the sails or just sink the ship even on its own, I'm gonna switch to chain shot, launch it. There we go, sails are down. This ship's over with, they can't do anything, they have no guns left. So, they just surrender, you can see the white flag. There we go. You get close enough, you just take it right on over. So boom, I got some. You quickly persuade some to uh, to join. So, they have just some food. I'll take the food, and then I'll sink it. So. Oh, now why not? Might as well attack another one. Attack the French. Oh, we're gonna attack some out the wind. I doubt there's some. Wow, no way, those cannonballs. Oh yeah, through the sails. I'm out of range, I'm out of range, I'm in range. They're trying to get close enough. I don't know what they're trying to do. I'm way faster than that ship by a long shot. But I'm gonna let it come closer here. All right, through the sails. Oh, dodge this. All right, I got hit by one, it's okay. I just keep shooting back and forth. Basically, every time I shoot, I just turn into it so that I don't take the damage here. All right, so it's got three cannons left. That won't have any. You just saw the cannon kind of fly off. Got close enough. Boom. Able to plunder it here. And, uh, ooh, it took some luxuries. That's nice. I'll take that. And I'll take some more goods. That's a lot of food. And then, of course, I'm just going to sink her as well. Because I have that trade galleon. Just super slow. Lots of firepower on it but uh, not the ship that I want. So, just gonna head on back to town and uh, maybe I can get promoted there and then date the daughter, show you guys what that's like. So going on here, just enjoying the seven seas as we sail across them. Getting on into the port. Then I'm going to sell all my goods, then sell the ship. And because the ship's in perfect condition because I rammed it, I can sell it for the maximum amount of cash. So we're going to go and uh, to the merchant, sell our goodies because we don't need them. So you can just hold it down. Okay. Boom, I get that money. Luxury sell for so much. And then, of course, I can sell the food. And I only need to keep eight months on hand, so that's good. Sell the shipwright, go over repair, and sell for 600 more gold. Boom, easy. Let me go and talk with the governor as well. Hey, Taco, please, please come on in. Oh, I love you, you're my favorite. As you know, we're at war. Yep, 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 I understand you recently captured a French, and you captured a pirate raiders. I'll be pleased. Now I am promoted to major. Is awesome. So now I can get stuff uh, repaired for free. Now if I go in and kill a couple more ships, I'll then be able to date the daughter and uh, that will be good. What's this? A fast galleon? These are sweet. Alright, I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna take on the... Uh... Alright, I'll take both on. This is really scary because the fast galleon's got 20 cannons. It is a huge ship. And that's all I gotta do is just kinda kite them along. Just 
keep uh, keep shooting, keep hitting them. Just don't let them get a good shot off on me is all. Uh, turn around. Line those up. And you can hear it, your guy will say like, Order up! when they're all ready. Oh, dodge. Oh, I just missed that shot super hard. I'm gonna rip some chain shot and see if I can uh, take out the sails. Oh, that hit hard. No, 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 dodge. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. I'm gonna just ram it. Whew, all right, grab your swords, men. It's time to repel. All right, now I'm gonna... The other thing you can do is parry. Now, if you time it correctly, you're good. Now I come into the chop. And later on, I mean, right now you can just chop your way all the way, all the way home. Later on, they get better where you can't chop, where you, you really have to parry into an attack. So it does get more difficult, but it's super easy, I mean, as of right now. So we're going to keep her and uh, take all and then continue on. And this is... This is that trade galleon. Oh, just don't hit me. Oh, threw my sails. That hurt. It's going to affect my speed after. But here we go. Repel the Bortus. I'm just going to chop my way down. Slide down the rail like a total BA. And then you can see, kick him into the fire, and he's like, Oh no, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! He jumps on off the boat. You win. And look at that gold. This is what you want to see. You want to see like the gold chests and gold riddled around everywhere. You're going to take all. And we're going to keep her. So uh, now we just conquered two of those. That's huge. That's not enough, unfortunately, to get a uh, promotion. But the other thing you can do is uh, you can go to fleet status and then you can change something to like my flagship. So now, now I'm driving in the big old... No, I don't want to attack you. Now I'm driving in the big old ship here but I only have 41 crew so I really lack the crew to sustain these big boats and I like chilling with my tiny sloop though it uh, doesn't hit super hard but it gets the job done you know what I mean? you're able to take out opponents the same way you just have to do it and it takes a little bit longer so we're going to trade with the merchant, we're going to sell off all of, just about all of our guns because we don't need them, we need just, but I think all I can hold is eight, I'm just taking it. We're going to sell off all of our sugar, because we stole it, and all this food. Oh, he has no gold left, I've taken all of this merchant's gold. So now if I go to the ship right, I'm going to repair my ship, I'm going to sell this guy, and I'll sell that. The 14 tons of cargo, you can see, space and holds, I have maximum amount. And then, uh, of course, go into the tavern, check the guy in the corner. Sure, share with me. Oh, cool, so I can go there, and this is, this is the cool information. This is what you can use to buy and sell stuff. So I see, okay, luxuries are at 15, goods, and spice, sugar. Now what's it compared to where I am? And then quickly go and turn a buck. So what I'll do is the other thing is going to different ports. So I keep going to just the same one. If you go to different ports, you're going to get different upgrades. So if I went to like a, the Santiago up here, I can still go into enemy ports until they banish you, and then once you're banished, you're in trouble. Now, if you ever find a treasure galleon, you attack it. It doesn't matter who it is. Even if it's your own people, you attack it. But you see that this is the uh, capital. So we're going to just come in into here and uh, just go on in. You can sneak into the town. This is like another side quest thing. So if you sneak on in, you just got to do it very carefully. Hide behind the bit. Oh. So this is the docks. And 
and I have to try to sneak through, so I gotta come into here. And then just walk up into here. I don't wanna get spotted, so I see that there's a wall over on that side. There's a wall here. And a wall there. Try climbing over walls. Okay. Let's see. Sneak up behind guards to knock them out. Okay. So I was just scouting to see if there's any guards up in this next section, which there's not. Hold down the shift key to run. But with running, you narrow your vision. You don't actually kind of run, you just look like you run. You're kind of like a doofus. You gotta, like, find your way out and into the into the town pretty much when you're sneaking. So it's kind of difficult. Oh, there's a guard. Oh. Ah. Just run behind him and there's the tavern if I wanted to get into the tavern. So you kind of sneak your way into. See, you avoid the guards that take you to the tavern, so then I can come to this guy and it's like, oh, oh mysterious travel excited the Dutch Riddler. There's the location of any hidden settlement. Pretty sure, I'll take it. Thank you. And then that's it. So that's a quick way to do the uh, kind of ninja way in. You can see that I'm actually getting shot at by uh, cannons from the main city town thing here I don't want to uh, attack them so I'm just gonna go on out and show you guys what kind of the rest of the area looks like so we look and we see we are here and there's Port Royale we can kind of zoom out and see that there's a bunch of stuff over here so I'm gonna try to loop around and uh, show you guys some of that and see if I can get to another port so what is this here that's just a uh, the storms make you go super fast but will damage your ship so you can do it but uh, do at your own risk I'm gonna get up into this town here I should be totally fine uh, they shouldn't hate my guts anyways and once you do get into a town you can actually build a reputation with them so if I really hated the Spanish but I wanted to be friends with the Dutch and the French I can do so so you can see they haven't shot me and uh, they're kind of happy. Now you could divide the plunder, which makes your crew happy. So you can see, with great much appreciation, the loot is divided among the crew. Each man earns a small fortune of 126 if you share. You'll be able to keep your flagship sea slug as an appetite. You captain your 5% share of the loot. It's like, never mind, we'll divide it later when we get some more money. So if we consult the shipwright, just repair, and we can upgrade with cotton sails. Cotton sails allows you to move a little bit faster, which is what I was looking for. Tavern, check the guy in the back. Yes, we talk. Oh, that's what's the information? Oh, they give a crap ton for spice. Holy flip. Can I just buy all your spice, please? Can I buy your three tons of spice? Because I'm going to go and turn around and make a buttload of profit. So then you just launch yourself out and you build your ships up that way. That's pretty much the gist of the game, other than you can go and do uh, like attacking a settlement if you get big ships and high populations of like your crew. If you get like a 500 plus crew, you can just go up to Santiago and attack it, and then it's it's yours. You claim it for the French. So you see this pop of a thousand. Consult the shipwright. They don't have anything. We figure as much. Go to the tavern. Just the guy in the corner. Yes. Cool info on Tortuga. Awesome. Just sail away. But uh, the economy flourishes when you go to some of the smaller towns, which is nice. But uh, that's Sid Meier's Pirates. Super, super fun. Ooh, Pirate Raiders. Come here! Come here, biatch! We're duking it out. Oh, are you gonna shoot me? We got 10 guns. It's Sloop v Sloop, baby! Oh, we're doing this? Not! Baited! Oh, you just got baited, sucker. Oh, what do you want to ram me? Nope. The chain shot also will disable their ability to like turn and be as fast. So, whoop, that hurt. 
That was a good chain shot on their part. And each cannon you see portrays to how many kind of cannon balls you'll shoot out. Oh yeah, they're done. These guys are done almost. One more chain shot and they should have white flags pop. Oh, they're still shooting. Oh, come on. They have no sails left. That's it. You guys are getting the full guns. Oh, we will stall. Full guns! Line up! Fire! Yep, now they're done. They have no sails. Sure, welcome aboard. And they, they have nothing but food, which I will take. I'll sink, take all that I can. Scrap the two guns. Actually, I'll keep the two. There we go. Any fame points? Can you build fame points? Get more famous? Do more cool stuff? But, uh, yeah, that's the, the game. Pretty much fun, fun, fun. I enjoy it. I like it a lot. This is what I... I used to play this when it first came out. I mean, when it first came out, I went and paid the money for it. My uh, cousin got me into it. And though it's very basic, you know, sometimes you got to kick it back to the classics. Got it.